Hey there guys, the Networkberg here. Hope you've been doing well. So I've got, I think, some of the most amazing news that I can share with you. And if you haven't been around and you don't follow the marketing news that often, this might come as a bit of a shock. But if you are somebody that looks at the RSS feeds or look at the announcements on the forums and such, you might have noticed some big, big headline. One being that Marketech has finally released the long-term service or support build for Router OS version 7, namely it's version 7.20.7, but it's the build that Marketech has finally given their stamp of approval to say, hey, if you think Marketech's good and you want to use our software, this is this is the recommended build. This build, this is the build that we think that you should use. And it's massive news for various reasons. Now, the first reason why this is actually such big news is because of, for people like me, I tend to make a lot of guides on YouTube. I know for the last year, I really haven't been making a lot of content, but it is also partly due to this point where I've noticed that between a lot of the version changes with Microtech, they completely redo or renew how you're supposed to configure things. I think a very prevalent point is where they've recently reintroduced BGP instances, which makes a lot of the Routers version 7 videos that I made a bit redundant. And it kind of brings it back in line with how things used to be in version 6. But it kind of defeats the point. The main point is that everything is baseline now on this long-term support build, this LTS build. So I know if I'm creating videos and I'm using the LTS build as the foundation for the videos, that there's not going to be any weird changes. And this is you really now going to be the build that Marketech kind of like pushes for people to start running because I believe this is the software that they strongly believe can be used in the environments for the type of customers that they have. Now, Marketech does have a bunch of different customers. They've got home users, home labbers, They've got enterprises, businesses, small businesses. They've even got some ISPs. I mean, you see it in the Indonesia market. Microtech is very strong there. So I, I definitely know Microtech can work at a carrier scale as well. It's just kind of that point that Microtech now has a baseline, a foundation that we can use to actually properly do things. So that puts my mind a bit more at ease that when I create content, when I'm creating some type of video to showcase or explain something that I know it's not just going to change a few versions down the line, even though they, they probably might still do that, but it's going to be a while before the next LTS build comes out where they might add those weird type of new changes. So nothing really experimental. And continuing on that point, it also means that when they do their exams for their MTC and A's and MTCREs and, and what have you, that they can now properly use router s version 7 stuff as the foundation for everything because one thing and i'm not sure if you've noticed it but the old microtech documentation is gone the old wiki it doesn't exist anymore i'm actually just going to quickly see if i can hop onto it but i'm, I'm pretty sure they took it down wiki.microtech.com it used to be that just redirects now to help.microtech.com so it doesn't even go to the old documentation so i think we'd probably have to use something like the wayback machine wayback machine to have a look and see if the old wiki even has anything okay wayback machine is so busy that i can't even look now <laughs> but, but the point is that the old router is version 6 and below stuff they, they've kind of taken it offline you can't see it anymore maybe it's archived somewhere maybe you can see it on the old forums or the forums as well but everything is basically going to be router is version 7 now so it means your exams it's all streamlined it's all going to be one thing, there's no difference now between you needing to learn version 6 stuff and version 7 stuff. It's it's all now one thing, and it really makes me happy to see that. Now, I think one valid point to also just bring up when it comes to this new LTS build, will it have everything that you want when it comes to Microtech? And the answer could vary. It could potentially be, no, it might still be lacking or missing some features that you believe it should have. It might not be able to hardware offload everything properly. It might not be able to support all of the protocols properly. I know for a fact that stuff like ISIS and eVPN is still hidden behind the command line. So it's, it's definitely that those type of protocols, I think you can treat more as experimental protocols that marketing are still kind of figuring out or working towards. I'll be more happy to see it actually be added onto Winbox and see them maintain it and add more support and functionality to those protocols. But I think the stuff that we have right now 
is very, very much on par with what we used to have on version six as well. So can you do stuff like VRF spanning? Can you do VPLS signal BGP? Do route reflectors work? Slash 31 addressing, all, all kinds of stuff like that. The things that used to work on V6 and we had a little bit of carryover issues, those things are sorted out now. And ironically, I made a video a few years ago, namely saying why I don't use Routers version 7 in a production network. And this basically shifts my opinion. All of the things that I tend to have issues on with that video have been resolved. So I think Routers version 7 has really matured really well. And I do think it is at a good place now to actually deploy across a network, even though I'm sure many people's already been doing that <laughs> since the equipment only ships with Routers version 7. But I'd be interested to hear what your experience has been when it comes to Router S, if you've been aware of the new update that's happened, and if you've actually rolled the dice and said, okay, I'm going to commit, I'm going to start using this LTS build, and we'll see how things go. And let me know if you guys run into any issues with this new LTS build as well, or what your experience is with Microtech so far. Leave a comment, all that fun stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to toot my horn and say, leave a like and all that stuff, even though I appreciate it. But definitely let me know what your thoughts are. I'll catch you guys in the next video really, really soon because now I'm, I'm kind of like hyped up because I feel like I can make my courses and not feel like the stuff is going to be made redundant. Anyways, enjoy and I'll catch you guys in another video really, really soon. See ya.